Do begin tonight with the U.S. soldier who willingly crossed into North Korea tonight back in U.S. custody now. This was the last image of Army Private Travis King wearing a black cap and shirt, authorities say, just moments before he crossed the DMZ. He is now on his way home at this hour, North Korea saying they expelled him. But tonight here, we have learned of secret negotiations to make this happen. His safety was the first priority, but what could this U.S. soldier now face when he lands back on U.S. soil? Tonight, already able to speak with his mother before landing back in Texas. ABC's Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Tonight, after months of secret negotiations, Army Private Travis King is in U.S. custody on his way home from North Korea. Officials saying he appears to be in good health and good spirits and is eager to see his family. But his future remains uncertain. In July, the 23-year-old soldier joined a tour group in South Korea, seen in this image, tall, dressed in black, standing at the front of the crowd at the DMZ, and then willingly bolting into North Korea, where he was quickly detained, driven away, and interrogated. His release some 70 days later, facilitated by Sweden and China, North Korea announced today King would be expelled after finding him guilty of illegally intruding into their territory. Swedish officials then driving King from North Korea across the border to China, where he was met by the U.S. ambassador to China, then a quick stop in South Korea and then a flight straight to the U.S. Officials saying North Korea got nothing in return. We did not give them anything. We made no concessions as a part of securing his return. King was facing discharge from the army even before crossing the border after being jailed in South Korea for an altercation with locals. His family telling us in August that they had worried about his mental state even before he fled to North Korea. He just called and he just screamed, I'm not the army soldier you want me to be. I'm not the army soldier you want me to be. And he kept screaming that out loud. And then all of a sudden the phone hung up. A spokesman saying King's mother was relieved and overjoyed to hear her son's voice when they spoke today. But tonight, questions about what disciplinary actions he may face from the military. I think the most likely option is uh, Private Travis King will be administratively discharged from the Army. King is expected to land in Texas overnight. And David, the North Koreans almost certainly asked King about his Army unit, its capabilities, anything they could find out about the military mission of the U.S. in South Korea. But in the end, they seemed to feel that keeping him was less valuable than the diplomatic and public relations advantages of letting him go. David. A really fascinating turn tonight. Martha Raddatz leading us off here. Martha, thank you. Tonight in